Fortnite just dropped the new Simpsons season, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate Fortnite optimization, which will give you the best FPS and performance out of your game for the new season. I've made this video specifically for the new map and the new season, so you're going to be getting the absolute best out of your game. Please subscribe if this video helps you, because I frequently upload Fortnite optimization guides. But without further ado, Let's get right on into these optimizations. Okay, so we're in the new Fortnite season right here, as you can see. And the first step of this new Fortnite optimization is actually just going to be in our Fortnite settings. And it's going to help us unlock the best FPS possible. So we can open our Fortnite settings right here. And they are specifically adjusted for the new season. So for the windowed mode, you want to make sure that is on full screen, guys, right here. Not windowed full screen or full screen. Full screen will make sure game is centered on Fortnite. Now for the resolution right here, guys, you want to have it on your monitor's native resolution resolution so for me that is 1920 by 1080 with a 16 by 9 ratio and for many of you guys it's going to be the same however if you're unsure of your monitor's native resolution it should be the one just to the right and of course the v-sync should be off if you have v-sync on you experience massive performance decrease and now your frame rate limit should be set to your monitor's hertz so i play on a 240 hertz monitor so i have my fps on 240 if you guys play on like a 240 hertz monitor and you have your FPS at 120, you are literally wasting your monitor's performance. So make sure you have it on your monitor's refresh rate. And if you have it on something higher, for example, unlimited or 360, you are literally wasting your PC's performance on getting FPS that your monitor can't even see. So make sure it's set to your monitor's refresh rate. Now for the rendering mode, it should be set to the legacy performance mode for the best FPS. The X11 and the X12 will of course give you decreased performance because they improve the graphics quality. However, if you guys want good graphics and good performance, you can use the settings I show later on in this video, so that will be not a problem. And the new performance mode is less stable, it has been less tested, and it's just new out. So make sure on the legacy performance for the most stable and best FPS. Now for the graphics settings right here, brightness is actually on 150%, the maximum you can go, so I can see all the nice, beautiful colors in the new Simpsons season. User interface contrast, you can just ignore, because that's how bright your settings are. Now, colorblind mode, I have it on try to note 5. This is the sweet spot for having a beautiful game while being able to see players where it's not too bright and not too distracting. This is perfect for me. However, if you guys don't like that, you can have it off. However, I'd recommend having try to note 5. And then user interface parallax should be off. Now, for the graphic settings, this is going to be very important because it dictates your game's quality. For the 3D resolution, you guys want to have this on 100%, okay? Or you're literally not going to be able to see a thing. Scaling it down to even something like 90 may give a performance increase. However, your game is going to become way more pixelated. So make sure this is on 100% right here, guys. Dynamic 3D resolution should be off. And then for the new season, this new setting that I'm going to be going on about is a few distance, guys. You can actually afford to have it on Epic. Because Fortnite turned the new season into a cartoon style, you can actually afford to put your view distance on Epic without actually affecting your performance. You will literally not experience any performance change with it on Epic. You could have it on far if you want. However, Epic is going to be the best because it's going to make sure your game looks nice and good, not really pixelated, not really blocky. It's going to be looking nice and good for the new season. However, textures and meshes should be both on low. This is going to give you the old mobile build effect. This is very nice and the least latency possible. If you have it on something like high and high, it's going to mess up your game and you're going to get so many stutters in this new season. So make sure they're both on low. And then for the advanced graphic settings right here, show FPS should be off. Of course, if you have it on, your game needs to constantly register your frames, which is a process in itself, which will give you decreased performance. So have it off. Latency mark should be off. And then NVIDIA reflex low latency. If you're on a mid to high end PC like me, put it on on. However, if you're on a low end PC, I would recommend putting it on on plus boost. However, what you want to be doing is make sure this is not off because you'd literally be wasting the NVIDIA reflex low latency setting that comes with your PC and then report performance that should be disabled. And now we need to go to the fourth tab right here, the game tab right here and adjust a couple more settings right here. Obviously, I'm very experienced. You can tell I know what I'm doing. And if you go down to replays right here, you just want to make sure all these replay settings are off because your game isn't constantly recording. So record replays off, record large team replays off record creative replays off, record high quality replays off. And then if you scroll down to the energy saving settings, you should have activate sleep mode. And then if you go down to the energy saving settings right here, activate sleep mode after, it should be on never. And then you should turn these two energy savings off because obviously you don't wanna be saving energy, you wanna be having the most performance out of your PC. 
and then just hit apply in the corner right here which is nice and simple go back to the lobby and we have done the first step of this new season optimization okay so the next optimization we're going to be doing is actually just removing any temporary files on our computer which will make our game run faster so if you hit windows and r on your keyboard at the same time right here it will bring up the run command prompt and then you simply want to type in percent temp percent percent temp percent right here and then press ok and it's going to bring up the temporary folder with all the temporary files on your computer and then what you want to do is select all the files right here so press ctrl a on your keyboard nice and simple and then press the delete key and then it may say fold access denied when trying to delete the folders don't worry this is completely safe just press continue and it's going to try and delete all these files and there are often issues when deleting these files, so just try and delete as many as you can. Press skip all of that, skip, and we've deleted as many as possible right here. So we're just trying to skip all these files. And once we've deleted as many as possible right here, we can close this and we can see we have barely any temporary files now. We can just close the file explorer now and we have deleted all the temporary files on our computer. Don't worry, it's completely safe even though we're deleting files. It is just unnecessary temporary files and now our game should be running faster for the new season. Okay, so the next optimization right here is incredibly important for ensuring your game has a stable performance and it's actually just going to be in your window settings right here. So I've showcased this one before on my channel, so make sure you guys follow if you guys want more optimizations. However, this one is just a simple background app settings and then I'm going to show another one after it. So if you go in your search bar right here and search background apps right here, background app should pop up, press enter. You just want to make sure these are all turned off, okay? I have that obviously when I'm playing the cash cups, when I'm just playing Fortnite in general, I make sure Sure there are no background apps running obviously if there are on all these apps could just be running in the background which we do not want like imagine you're playing a game and media player is just running in the background or maps is running in the background you do not want that so make sure it is off nice and simple and then if you go in the search bar right here again and then search start up apps right here nice and simple start up apps you just want to make sure only the necessary ones are on so i have epic games launcher on on startup because i want to load fortnite but for example i have spotify off because i don't want spotify launching when my pc runs so just make sure there are no unnecessary apps because when you get your pc often there are so many unnecessary apps for example microsoft edge this is commonly known to start up when your pc starts because windows are owned by microsoft so now that we only have the important apps running when our PC starts up, we can just go ahead and close out of the settings. And that is basically the best optimization we can do for maximum performance in the new season. But that is gonna be it for the optimization in the new Simpsons season. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe because I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers and it will mean the world to me when I hit it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.